Joe Reinagel, Jason Minix, The Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is The Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minix. Glad to have you along on this Monday afternoon. Always fun to talk football with well, a football coach and the Texas Tech head football coach, Joey McGuire, joining us now on the Buyers Barricades guest line, and he's coming to San Antonio in a little more than a week to speak at the San Antonio Quarterback Club. Coach McGuire, appreciate you taking the time with us today. And, and you know, you think about last year, your first year at Texas Tech, everything goes extremely well, eight and five. Now that you're a year into the job, is it starting to feel more like yours and things slowing down a little bit? Well, first, thanks thanks for having me on. Um, I don't think anything ever slows down in this world of college football um, with the changes and different rule th- rule changes and between uh, the game and recruiting and all that. But <clears throat> it feels really good to have uh, year two of spring football under our belt. And we got a lot of guys back. So we had a really productive spring and we're really excited. Coach, when you look at it, I know you had some uh, some time at Baylor where you were the interim head coach, but going into your first head coaching job as far as college football goes, did it did it just feel awkward for a while, or, or were you able to hit the ground running? No, we hit the ground running. You know, um, I always tell everybody, I mean, you guys understand that being, being in Texas, but, you know, uh, there, there's a lot of high school coaches in Texas that are ready for this. Um, you know, that manage large rosters that, you know, are under pressure to win games. And, and so, uh, you know, I felt good. I felt like a a great, you know, for an incredible head coach and Matt rule that, you know, really got me ready. Dave Aranda helped, um, you know, through all the transition. And so I felt like we were ready to go. And obviously, I mean, last year you you have a good year to go through spring because of the eligibility rules. It's it's like, you know, you've got a lot of seniors and a whole lot of super seniors having that much leadership back. How much does that help you with the young guys that you're trying to bring along? Yeah, it helps a ton because, I mean, you said it perfect. Our roster, probably a little bit like a lot of people's roster, but our roster goes from really old, you know, like half of the roster to uh, really young. Like you're you're talking about half the roster being – true freshman and redshirt freshman and the other half probably uh you know uh, redshirt seniors and and some COVID seniors so um it, it helps a ton trying to grow some young guys up and and then it, it really helps set the expectation of how we practice you know how things look every day and and you know what it's supposed what it's supposed to look like being a red raider you know, Coach, be careful there when you talk about really old. When you're talking about guys that are like 22, you're talking to a couple of old guys here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Love to be that age again, right? Uh, maybe me too. not. Me too, man. <laughs> Coach, how has it been transitioning into the uh, you know, the, the NIL deals and, and the transfer portal and all of that stuff? Is that taking some getting used to as a head coach? Um, you know, it's a little bit different whenever you're talking about, um, I think traditionally um, recruiting uh, high school seniors is still really close to the same. Um, I think whenever you start looking at recruiting guys that are in the transfer portal, um, you know, it is, it's a lot different. Um, you know, you're, you're uh, talking about guys for us that we're, we're trying to get guys that, you know, are really in their last, year or last two years um you know that have played a lot of football and so um you're dealing with with a totally different um recruit versus the 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 freshman and so i mean it's tough i don't think um you know i i am pro nil and i am pro uh transfer portal um you know for the right reasons i think there's a lot of guys that are are leaving and, and leaving some great situations just being impatient. Um, but whenever you put the two together, man, it's a scary time right now in, in college football. It's basically your professional uh, league without a salary cap or knowing what, um, you know, really the value of each player when you're talking about NIL stuff. Yeah, and that makes it so 
I, I, such a challenge for so many of the coaches that we talk to as we visit with Joey McGuire, the head football coach of the Texas Tech Red Raiders, as he joined us on the Buyers Barricades guest line here on 94-1. And, and coach, because you're in the middle of it, if you decline to answer, I, I, I wouldn't you know, hold it against you. But, you know, right now, headlines all over the place that you guys are battling UT for a five-star wide receiver. In the NIL era, which we're in right now, how different is the recruiting going on to try to land a receiver like that? Now, I, you know, that's the thing that, that I've found. And, and um, you know, whenever you're – when you're talking about recruiting um, – guys that are seniors in high school um for the i mean honestly besides maybe one kid that is not a red raider and and uh wouldn't be i we i haven't had a lot of conversations when it comes to nil you know we have a deal with dr hurd is over our nil she comes in and does a presentation um whenever we have a recruiting visits um you know and and you know, I had one parent, um, I, I thought this was so just I- incredible what she said of a kid that um, he's a quarterback. Uh, he didn't commit to us, but I, I love what she said. She goes, you know, the one thing about us coaches, that's not what it's going to be about. Um, because uh, and because she was at Texas Tech, she used this word. She goes, there's a difference between NIL money and Patrick Mahomes money. And we want to go to a place that can we can develop uh, our son and continue to develop into the young man he's supposed to be, but also, you know, develop into, uh, if you believe you're an NFL prospect at some point, being able to be developed into an NFL prospect. And there's a, there's a lot of places that get three, four and five star recruits that aren't, they're not being developed. And, um, and, you know, there's, there's great research out there, about that the athletic just did a really good article about that and so i think it's really important that these guys come to places that they're going to be developed as men they're going to be developed as student athletes that student part being first and then we recruit guys that have nfl traits so uh they should trust that we're trying to develop them into nfl football players Coach, when you look at recruiting uh, across the state of Texas, and we'll just use that for now, what are your thoughts on San Antonio? Obviously, we're proud of our high school football here in San Antonio. Yeah. Uh, and, and it seems to me that there have been some uh, an, an influx of prospects over the last, I don't know, 10 years. The football is getting better is what I'm trying to say here in San Antonio. Well, Larry Hill would tell you that that football was pretty damn good 20 <laughs> years ago or 25 years ago. I'm going to tell you, I remember whenever he was playing in the state championships, one of my favorite people in the world. Um, you know, two things. One, y'all have got one of the best college coaches in the nation in that city. Jeff Trailer is an absolute stud. And, um, you know, and he was a great high school coach. And then you turn around and you have some storied programs. I mean, even go back to D.W. Rutledge. Um, I mean, there's a guy that would tell you that that uh, they played pretty dang good football at Converse Judson whenever he was there. But, you know, I, I, I believe that there's, there's you know, that's a really, really strong uh, football town, um, you know, with from some, uh, Steel, you know, playing. We couldn't get there. We got beat by DeSoto in 2016. Um, you know, we got beat in the fourth round or we would have played Steel um, you know, if we could have got to the state championship. So we, um, we, we feel really strong about it. We have two guys that, that recruit that area really hard. Uh, one of them being Stephen Handy, who played at Alamo Heights, you know, so he knows that area really well. And another one, Josh Bookbinder, uh, who coaches our linebackers that, you know, he really has central Texas, but he dips down into the San Antonio area. In fact, he was, he's there today. And so, feel like there's some great football players there in that area. And again, I know with your connection with high school football, that's allowed you to uh, recruit the state so well. And I mean, you mentioned Coach Trailer and Larry Hill. I, I was the broadcaster for Smithson Valley <laughs> for those three losses. Uh, two of them were just heartbreaking. And then, you know, the one that kind of got away against South Lake Carroll that was that was ugly. But you, you go back to those days, but that was always, always the knock on San Antonio. It was Houston and then Dallas, Central Texas, and then San Antonio when it came to the bigger schools looking for D1 talent. And then 
you see a guy like a Malcolm Brown go to UT and make it to the NFL. And now it feels like there's what, about a dozen players from San Antonio that are currently on the NFL roster. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And, and it is, it's a, it's a strong area for football. Joey, let me ask you a little bit about the big 12. And now that you've, you've gotten your feet wet in, in the big 12 there with Texas tech, Texas, Oklahoma are leaving. What, what are your feelings on the future of the big 12 conference? Well, you know, it's uh, we've got one of, I think we've got the best commissioner in, in college football at the big 12 with uh, commissioner Yormark. And he's, he is, uh, you know, the first thing he said last year, um, you know, that the big 12 is open for business. I think he's going to be really aggressive. I think it's a, uh, it's a really attractive uh, conference, but I think it's an extremely competitive conference. I mean, you've got to be ready to go. Whenever I was at Baylor in 2021, we played BYU and uh, man, just a, a really, really good football team. Um, you know, we played Houston this year and beat them in overtime. So another really good football team. Cincinnati played in the Final Four a couple of years ago. Um, UCF has got a, a huge fan base, huge alumni base, and and got great talent. And Gus Malzahn does a good job. So, you know, again, I just think, you know, if you look at the conference, it, it's so competitive. And and whenever people talk about, you know, teams leaving, I mean, I'm a Texan man. I, I've been here my entire life. Never coached anywhere else but the state of Texas. So I understand those two schools, but you know. Uh, if you look at, at last year, you had TCU and K-State in the game. The year before that, it was Oklahoma and Baylor. You know, the year before that, it was Iowa State and OU. The year before that, it was Baylor and OU. So, you know, it's uh, there, there's been a lot of competitive football being played in this conference. That was a nice way of saying Texas hasn't been there in a long time in that championship game. <laughs> well... I think uh, I think Sar could tell you, man. He's geared up, man. They they've got a uh, they they've got a really good football team, man. He he's uh, the the what they're going to put on the field, especially offensively, and they played you know uh, good defense last year. But what they're going to put on the field offensively, they're going to be extremely explosive. Joey McGuire, the head football coach of the Texas Tech Red Raiders, coming to San Antonio. May 23rd, he's going to be speaking at the San Antonio Quarterback Club at luncheon. Quarterback Club does a, a, such a great job in so many things here in San Antonio, and it's the oldest quarterback club of its type in the nation, which is incredible. Talk about why you w- will come and speak to this quarterback club. It's one thing when coaches are doing like, Texas Tech alumni events and raising a whole lot of money, but for you to come and speak to the quarterback club, uh, it's so appreciative of those that go all the time, but tell me why you said, yes, I'm coming down to San Antonio May 23rd. Well, you know, it it starts with being able to spread the brand, um, you know, really um, across the state. You know, we want to make sure that we're we're in every area that we can be in, you know, and, and so it's really important. There's a, you know, last year I spoke and there's a, a really strong, um, re- really strong uh, group of Red Raiders uh, that, you know, are there. And, and, um, and so that, that's always important. And then there's a legend in, down there that's uh, a coach and a, an AB, AD, Jim asked me to come, uh, Streety and, and there's a couple of people in this world you don't say no to, and and that's one of them. Jim Strady is uh, definitely so one of them. Yeah, he's one of them. And and so whenever he said, "Coach, can you come?" I said, "Yes, sir. You just tell me the date, and I'll make it work." Um, and and you know he's just he's such an incredible human being, and has done so much for this game that we all love. And so, um, you know, he's giving back, and and he asked me to come, and so I'm definitely want to give back, and and then just be around the fans. Good deal. That's awesome. And now I'll tweet out a link to people to get tickets. One of the reasons why we're doing the interview so early to promote the event is they've got to get the lunch order in by Wednesday. So there's a (laughs) deadline on when the ticket sales get cut off, and that's this Wednesday. So I'll tweet out that uh, link here in a minute as soon as we wrap this up. Coach, uh, Joey McGuire, I always appreciate you taking the time. Good luck. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Joey McGuire, the head football coach of the Texas Tech Red Raiders on the Buyers Barricades guest line. Buyers Barricades provides traffic control, rental, and sales for San Antonio and beyond. They're online at buyersbarricades.com.